I was so uh, um, sad because I've been living in Puerto Rico for my past 43 years and to see that is really sad. And I, when I came here, I saw my sister and I, and I said, oh my God, I left back my family, friends and co-workers and I'm here. <laughs> and they are, you know, they don't have water, they don't have light, they don't have so many things that they need and I'm here. <laughs> And that makes me really sad. All the, uh, most of the hurricane, I stayed in my bathroom, in the uh, have a bathroom that doesn't have windows, and I stay there. And I also have to refuge my neighbor because he cut his hand, so I have to give him his first aid. And um, we stayed in the bathroom all during all the hurricane because I thought that the windows were going to blow away. It was really, really, really hard. The, blow, uh, the, the winds was really, really hard. We don't know what is happening. I know what is happening because my sister lives here and she keeps telling me things, but we don't know what is happening because we don't have uh, communication supposed to be reestablishing uh, uh, during these days. Uh, no internet, cell phones. The only thing that I have for first is landline. That's the only thing that first work and keep on working because during the hurricane, uh, so when I saw that the plane arrived to the gate, everybody started uh, clapping in the, at the gate in Puerto Rico. And when we land, the people did the same thing, start clapping in the, uh, at, the, at the gate in Puerto Rico.